Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, make sure and hit that subscribe button if you're a serious coach looking to get to the next level with your business. Now in today's video, it's 100% based around what is the right age group that you should be training within your business. This is a really popular question that I've gotten a lot on uh, email, I've gotten a lot on Instagram, and I've seen a lot of comments on YouTube because coaches, when they start their business, they don't know which age groups to train, and so they're, they're asking me. Now, I'm just gonna be honest with you. At the beginning of my business, I had no idea who to train. I trained everybody. If someone got my phone number, or sorry, if parents got my phone number, and they went to my website, and they called me, I would be willing to train their kid. Because at the beginning, I wanted clients, and I needed clients but I wasn't really honing in on a specific age group that I wanted to train because honestly, I didn't know who I wanted to train yet. So it took time for me to realize, all right, do I like working with kids that are between six and 10? For me, the answer was no. Those kids for me were too difficult to train. I'm not the type of coach who can deal well with kids that are that young. And you might, the thing is, you might be completely different. You might love training kids who are between six and eight or six and 10. And if that's your niche, the only way to find out is by getting experience. If you haven't had experience yet, that's the only way you can find out is by start to train multiple age groups to learn what you are the best at. And that's the, really the most important thing is once you find that out, then you can have the age group that you're most, the most confident training, uh, you are so comfortable training those kids, and that's what you become known as. I'm known in my city as the guy who can train girls that are between nine and 13 years old. That's my niche. I had to take a couple of years to figure that out. And I know at the beginning, I talked about this on some other videos, but at the beginning, I just wanted to train boys that wanted to play college soccer. And then I realized, well, in my city, there's not hundreds of boys that want to go play in college soccer. There's probably like five to 10. And then out of that, how many of those would actually train with me? So my market was extremely small. Then I realized, well, I need to start training other age groups. And then I realized, well, nine to 13 year old girls that are serious about wanting to get better, those are the kids that I want to train. Those are the perfect type of clients for me. But this isn't about me, this is about you. It's about you learning and figuring out who is the best fit for you. And I'm gonna give you three things to do you know, while you're watching this video that I feel like are gonna help you out. So the first is I want you to do some research in your city. Start to find out well, what clubs, what organizations, uh, what leagues are taking place you know, month after month. What, what are the year-round associations in your area and what are the most popular age groups of those leagues or organizations and then start to realize well you know if that is the most popular age groups can i train kids within that age and within that age group or not and if that's a no well, then you need to find something else if it's a yes then you should start to hone in on that all right and do number two which is build relationships with those who have influence over the kids within those age groups that you wanna train. So a good example, if I wanted to go train nine to 13 year old girls, I'm gonna pick up the phone and I'm gonna call the YMCA because I know they have influence and access to all of the kids that I would ever wanna train within my program. Or I, if I wanted to train kids in high school, well, I would pick up the phone, and start networking with every single high school coach within my city so I can see how I can help them, okay? Then lastly, what we can do is if we know the age group that you wanna train, then your marketing should be centered around that. So every video you do, every newsletter that you write should be centered around the age group that you're targeting. So this way, when you get your message in front of the parents who have kids within your age group, they can relate to what you're saying. Because if I was writing a newsletter for parents who have kids that are between like four and eight years old, that would look very different than it would if it's between like nine and 13 years old, okay? This way you can be more specific with your marketing, okay? That's 
all we have for today's video. If you have any questions for me, like I said, you can shoot me a text, this number right here. All you have to do, save that number, shoot me a text right now, and uh, I'd love to help you out. And if you're serious, you wanna get to the next level, if you've seen case studies of coaches who've already gone through our mastermind program and you wanna learn more about that, you can go up here and click this button. That will take you to a page where you can learn all about the mastermind program and see if you're the right fit. So that's it for the video. I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.